Okay, it is Tuesday instead of our normal Sunday, uh, the day we go live. And I've already messed up the beginning of the show. Welcome to the Mistress of Reed Show. This is Jane Yellow Rock 4567. 4567. No, 34567. Four, five, six, seven. <laughs> I fixed it. I fixed it. 34567. I can count two. I swear. <laughs> Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We have on the show friend to the show Raven. Um, hey guys. She started this insanity. And we have I did as not. well me, which is O or Miss O, if you're paying, or <laughs> Mistress, if you're feeling real nasty. <laughs> okay. And we have Vu on or Madam Vu as if well, you if you're paying. <laughs> What's the rates like? What's the rates like? Just <laughs> for both of you. Maybe people are uh, like wanting to know. How much is the double team? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what the funny thing is? Hold on. Oh, my, my iPad just ran out of power because we have a new guy on the hook for the show. <laughs> the sent us submissions on Kiki. I need to I need to start screenshotting these things and just sharing them. <laughs> I need to I need to do that on our Twitter account if you don't already know Mistress of Reeds. Yep. On Twitter, we there. Um, I'm y'all. <laughs> but let's go immediately into the show. No, no preamble. No nothing. Just brass taxes here. Jane Yellow Rock. But no lube. Yeah. Jane Yellow Rock. <laughs> Mercy Blade. Jane Yellow Rock, Mercy Blade. Okay, Mercy Blade was I really out of all of the, the books up to this, I thought it was like just the best. Yeah. Uh, yeah. up to Mercy Blade. Like you can tell like the, the author had a better idea of the world she wanted to create and the people that are in it. Yeah. It's the first time the world becomes cluster. Crystal clear is the introduction introduction of the wolf shifter element. So there is shifters in the world, and the rest of the world just finds that out immediately. Rick, who we all hate, <laughs> fucking Rick. Yeah, who we all hate is um, infected. Spoiler is infected by um, the werewolf STD. Yeah, werewolf <laughs> STD. Yeah, correct. The werewolf <laughs> STD. Um, and we get introduced to um, Marcy, uh, Je- what is it? G. Something French. G. Marcy? Uh, G. Something French. Something French. Let's just go with G. Yeah, yeah G. Yeah, his name is Gerard G. Marcy. Marcy. Yeah, Gerard yeah. G. Marcy. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, I, 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 I totally are, understand why Jane gives nicknames. Yeah, I, are you are you kind of worn out on all the Frenchiness in this book? Yeah, well, you know what though, that they're in the area where there is a lot of Frenchiness, like like Cajun is real, y'all. <laughs> yeah, but they even have imported Frenchiness now. I mean, yeah, oh. but it could be worse though. It could be Germany. I mean, yeah. I, I would be totally, I would be over the German after the first book. To be honest, Deutschland. Deutschland. But yeah, that does not sound sexy to me. Let's move on. No. <laughs> Let's move on. And the whole uh, sweet blood thing. I I didn't like her name. Did you feel uncomfortable about the name? Yeah. <laughs> sweet blood. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> we get introduced to quite a bit in this book because not only like do you have like the Mercy Blade, um, the two crazy ass female shifters. Yeah. Yeah. The and whole the- entire wolf pack, including fire truck. <laughs> what? Oh, I just no. I just I love all the nicknames. I do get a kick out of it because I understand. Because I'm I, really terrible yeah. with names, just like Jane, and everyone will get a fucking nickname in a heartbeat. I I I have a habit of nicknaming people. Like, for example, like none of my friends' boyfriends I have actual names. Sometimes, like some of their names are like Dick Curve. <laughs> well, it's like my my daughter's godfather, his his ex husband. I can't remember the kid's name was Brian or Ryan. And like I was just talking to the dude like last week, and I was like, what was his name again? I I even like re- give, I even refer to his his current boyfriend as as uh, the same nickname he calls him, which is the meatball. 
Yeah, the only the the only child that actually that I know that has a real name is Lily, and I think it's because it sounds like a nickname. <laughs> it is a nickname. Yeah. Yeah. And if you guys think that I'm twisted, yeah, my kid beats me. <laughs> Not literally, no, but she's she's definitely more twisted than I am. Oh. <laughs> okay. As in beats you, as in top. Well. You know what? No. We're the name of the show. We're just going to skip through that section because there was no fixing it. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely a lot more twisted than I am. Today we were watching um, Craigslist Horror Stories on Mr. Nightmare's channel on YouTube for Shits and Giggles. And she wanted me to to send all of those to her dad because her dad <laughs> had a habit of buying things on Craigslist. And people. And people. <laughs> Well, not by people, but he makes friends on Craigslist, and you're not supposed to make friends on Craigslist. Do not give any information out. <laughs> Craigslist don't tell killer. Them where you live. Don't, 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 don't look for a roommate on Craigslist. Like that is the worst place to look for a fucking roommate. I, I have a crazy ass neighbor across the way who rents out her extra room to people on Craigslist, and she has pulled some shisty shit, including having a girl show up, give her four hundred dollars to stay in the other room, and then she locks the woman out of the house. What that? Like, like they, they, they just like, okay, well, I'm gonna go run and get my stuff, and I'll be back. And and Joy's like, okay, and then Joy locked the door, and the girl was stuck there overnight, out sitting outside Joy's door when she got back. Did she let her in eventually? And Joy put what little stuff the girl brought with her already outside, said deuces. Did she get the $400? She, Joy already had the money in pocket. So she didn't get her money back? Nope. That's really terrible. And she does shit like that all the time. Oh, my God. And and don't be an attractive female because this is an insecure old bitch. So, like, if you are more attractive than her, you might last a week. A week. That's you can wake up with acid on your face. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, she'll, then she'll find some excuse to kick you out. Like one girl was, oh, she didn't eat vegetables, and I can't have her living with me. She don't eat vegetables. I'm like, is she even eating your food? Well, no, but she don't eat vegetables. So she kicked her out. Maybe she needed more fiber in her diet. <laughs> I just don't understand why you give that much of a shit about what somebody's eating. They don't, or another one was she kicked one out because they don't cook. They don't cook. I'm like, seriously? Like, okay, who cares? So, anyway, go on. Yeah, so I, I I did like I did like um I did like the fleshing out of what the clan home looks like. Yeah. Like the way yeah, the clan home reminds me of Evangeline, who we will talk more about later on. Yeah. I <laughs> I, I, I like that. I like that a lot. I like the it, it kind of it it lets you this story lets you know what life as a blood servant kind of is like too as well. Yeah. The insecurities of being a blood servant. It introduced a lot of world building that you didn't see in the prior books. I love the twins. Yeah, I love a lot twins. of society building as well. The the twins are fun. You get to continue to see more of them as you go along. They are they are a lot of fun. Um, more fucking Rick. I hate Rick. I'm sorry. I, I'm not gonna let go of my hate. And 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 I'm sure there's people that like Rick. I have the. You know what? I and actually. Of us. <laughs> I read the comments. I ain't seen nobody like Rick. I have yet to find <laughs> one comment where somebody goes, "Oh, Rick's so dreamy." Never found one. <laughs> I get it. I do get a kick out of G. I think he's a very fun, playful character. Yeah. Uh, he's cheeky as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, this one we also get introduced to the whole sexual, possibly liaison loverness of the bruiser and the bruiser. MOC. What does the MOC stand for? Master of the City. Okay, because I for for some reason I kept forgetting what MOC stood for. I'm like, why did we call him MOC again? <laughs> Because in the whole entire series, she, you know, from like since like the first one, she stopped saying "Master of the City" and just says "MOC, MOC, MOC." <laughs> sounds like you need to throw gang signs to go with that. Uh, yeah, I was like, it was like it, it sounds like head inward in charge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, 
I don't want to say the words because I don't want to go there. I don't think Google would like that, so we're not going to go there. But yeah, we can talk about dicks and pussies and whatnot. Jigga. So whatever. <laughs> Jigga. We can say Jigga. No. Oh, uh, ninja. I also I like the introduction of the um, of the uh, the whole. Um, this is also where we get introduction to Gregory, correct? Yeah. Gregory, Gregory, is it Gregory? Yeah, it's Gregory. Yeah. Gregory? He's no, it's a, Gregory. He's a bitch. Seventeen-year-old <laughs> boy. He looks like a seventeen-year-old boy, so he has that skinny, twinky sort of look to him. And but he's a good fighter, so he's held captive in this one, I believe. Is it? I. No, 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 no. no. Oh, captive. wrong book, wrong book. Yeah, he was held captive in the last one, so never mind. <laughs> He's out of town in this one, isn't that so right? don't mind us. He's um, out of town in this one. And what's her name is running the show. No, no, that's the next one after this one. Okay, I don't remember <laughs> what happens to Gregory in this one. Just let it go. Just skip over it. Anyway, so we all like this book as the best book in the series thus far. I think so, yeah. Best book in the series thus far. It's the Goblet of Fire of the <laughs> of the series. Okay, so let's move on to Raven Cursed. All right, so Raven Cursed. I uh, see. It made me like the series even more. Can you and give a recap really quick, quick, or I'll give a recap? Um, you can give a recap. I'm yeah. actually, I'm actually kicking my ass because I didn't write notes. Like I wrote that. Wrote, this is the first. This is the first Mercy Blade where it's a mainstream book that is outside of the uh, uh, New Orleans, and it's back home in North Carolina, the Asheville or something like that. Yeah, oh, she dropped. Um, so this is the first book that is in Asheville, and we go back to the um, the uh, after you, at the end of um, the book. Uh, she's just deci- she's debating on whether or not she wants to never return, which I think she shouldn't have, to be honest. <laughs> I I don't think that, that she, there was really anything there for her. No, I mean, there wasn't. And she's going back, and she has all her stuff, and she's thinking about going back. But she does one more job because you know she just can't help herself, and that's how she rolls. And so, and the job was to try another. Another master wants to be master of the city because now he's a subservient. He'll gain power by becoming master of the city, and he gains not necessarily territory per se, but he gains something. Oh, it's him. um, he 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 um, gains hunting grounds. Oh, so he does get hunting grounds. Yeah, he. So gets I thought he was. And, I thought he, I thought he'd still be under Leo. He would still be under Leo, but he would still have a larger hunting ground because he'd be the master of that city, but it'd be under Leo. Yeah. So he would yeah. get larger hunting grounds. He would actually get like a cut in the businesses and stuff like that. So in this in this city, this is her hometown technically. So um, the sisters, all the evangel, all the uh, the True Blood sisters. Yeah. The True Heart, isn't it True Heart? She's a True Heart. <coughs> I thought Evan was a True Heart. Thank you. Everhart sisters, all the Everhart sister, which she has a grip of sisters. I mean, somebody or, didn't use birth control. I, I mean, think her mom seems to like it on the bottom because I was always told the whole wise legend was the only way to make a boy is to be on top. <laughs> but, well, she could have had brothers and they died, though. That's a possibility. But that is like a grip of, of kids, period, for a witch family going by the, the witch lore in, in this. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of kids. Um, but she has a, a lot of kids, and evil Eddie, Eddie, Evie had just gotten done betraying the MOC in the city, so she made a run towards uh, Asheville and home, and now we're dealing with the fallout. I think this is almost like, it, where this book reminds me of those old grim fairy tales. Yeah. It, the only disappointment, though, like, uh, Eva could have... I think she could have actually lasted a little bit longer in the series. I think that she was a pretty worthy adversary. She could have been a little bit more undercover bitch. Yeah. Undercover <laughs> bitch. Instead, yeah. she was like a crazy hot mess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and it, a lot of it didn't even make fucking sense, to be absolutely honest with you. It's like, I'm just going to you know, use all this power to just make myself prettier. 
<laughs> but then keep in mind the thing that the thing that yeah. she wanted the most was revenge, and then she kept getting forded, uh, forded. What is it? Forded. Yeah. <laughs> She kept right. she kept getting interrupted in and wanting to get that revenge, so she might as well make her tits tight and make her ass up. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like she has a choice. You know, I mean, what I are think you gonna she's do? Like one of the first women in this book that chased after the vampire <laughs> instead of in reverse, <laughs> running away from the vampire. Yeah, she no. actually no, she actually tricked him into into biting her, not the other way around. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but did you get the feeling that even though she was looking beautiful and looking together and stuff, that she wasn't that cute to begin with? No, like I, no. I think you know when you're when you're ugly on the inside, it definitely uh, shows on the outside. Out. No matter how cosmetically pretty you are, like your ugly is gonna still admit. Yeah, and like I definitely, I think they could have made her a slightly stronger character. But, I would also say that this is the first book that we get a really good look at Little Evan, and I would say that Little Little Evan overshadowed this whole entire book. Yeah, that he stuck out to me the most when he was just like, "Auntie Jane, save us!" So I was just like, "Oh!" <laughs> yeah, and when he was in the arms, he was like terrified. <laughs> yeah. I was like, so where's your daddy? <laughs> That was that was my first question. Where's your daddy? <laughs> I, I I I would also say it also points out the way that Evan was like Big Evan and how he yeah. didn't really pay attention to almost anything to do with her life. So I'm like, what the fuck do these fuckers talk about? Do they just fuck all day? Is that what they do <laughs> when they? How did he not notice that she was acting a certain way like the yeah. whole time? It, I wonder if he's away from home all the time almost. Because he constantly seems to be on assignment somewhere, and but why is it that you would still know a change in someone that you've known for like a long time, at least long enough to you know marry and make babies with? Well, he wasn't spelled. That's the thing. He wasn't spelled. Exactly. Everybody so else he was. Noticed a difference in her when he had brought his ass home. I, I, I. I that's I that's what was, He she just seems different. Like really, just just seems different. Well. I think they, I don't know, I don't know what those two talk about, you know, but it seems like they never talk, they never do anything. I don't actually have, see them doing actual relationship stuff inside the book, you know, whenever you see Evan and, 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 and um, Molly. Molly together, they don't, you know, it doesn't seem like they're married, you know what I mean? It seems like he's visiting. Like he's the baby daddy that just comes by on weekends. Yeah, from time <laughs> to time, yeah. And, and I, I don't know. I would say that's one character, even with the short story, she does a lot of short stories. Most of them are free. Go online and look them up. Support the author. Leave a review. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but even with the short stories, it's almost like Evan's constantly, you know, like, kiboshing everything. It's like, what is she supposed to do? Put a straight jacket on, open her legs, and push out babies? Is that what you're looking for? I mean... <laughs> well, is she allowed to sell the clip, though? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think she's allowed to. The whole thing is like the whole thing is like he wants to protect her from everything, but at the same time he wants her to do nothing. It's like how long did she fucking live in this world before his ass came along? Like that, that's really know. a good question cuz like if you want to protect her from everything, he's a little late. Uh, it also, I think what this book did was it did a good job of, of fleshing out more of the dynamic of the world itself, the dynamic of the how the police interact with the um, with police the outside, the vampires outside of, like, screwing New Orleans. You know, because New Orleans isn't actually, you know, a paragon of policing. Yeah. <laughs> so the police actually has one of the highest crime rates in the country when yeah. it comes to major city. Yeah. You know what this book did for me? It made me definitely like dislike Molly more. I, I yes, yes. <laughs> if you don't already know, if you haven't read, this is where we get super spoilery. But Ev, uh, Evil Evie dies at the end of the book, and pretty much the whole entire family turns her back at it. So she turns her back on um on Jane, Jane, Jane Yellow Rock, and so she has yeah, nowhere yeah. else to go. So she returns to New Orleans. Like, she saved all of them, and it's like, no, no, you, you killed the bad guy, because, you know, the bad guy was, was our sister, and you killed... 
Well, she was going to kill all of you. She's going to kill all y'all. Oh yeah. But that's okay. I she just I if I were her, I would have just taken my ass home and been like, deuces. Take the babies though. <laughs> leave, leave Molly and, and the rest of them to deal with with the outcome. But take Angie baby and little Evan. And little Evan. For real. Okay. Like, I'm gonna take the babies on a little trip. We'll be back and just let Eva massacre their asses. I just I I didn't see a point to the way that the family acts with her because in the one scene where they, where she comes back and visit it visits the family the family goes over all the ways that she has saved their asses. Oh yeah. And not twenty pages later, you know, not no, not even uh, two hundred pages later, it's like I can't even spit on you and say hi at the courthouse. You know, it's like I can't even support you. You know, when you just risked your life and everything you knew and had to give up your own secret because, you know, which is an even bigger secret than Evans when you think about it. Oh, hell yeah, because that changes the whole fucking pre, uh, like, you know, preternatural dynamic. No. Yeah. She, she, she became not just a target, you know, in a way, the daughter is a target, but in a way, Jane's an even bigger target because they want to chop her the fuck up. Oh yeah. They want to dice her up, like, and she has no group. She has no council or group to protect her from the uh, government. She has nothing. It's no, just Jane Yarbrough. The to protect her, really, like, which will, you know, you'll see more of later on, will be the vampires. Yeah, but she has nobody really, and so in the sense, she's even in more danger than Evie and the kids are, you know, than um, excuse me, Evan and the kids and everything like that. Why does everybody have an E name, Everard? <sighs> That, that's, that's a really good fucking question. <laughs> Actually, you know, I can't even say Molly's name without thinking... I can't even say Molly's name without thinking of the, the theme, The Land of the Lost. Your <laughs> mom's show Will and Holly. Molly, Holly, see? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, oh. no problems. Okay, so... I, I, liked, I liked what they did with the angel as well. I like that whole angel Hi, demon thing. Hi, yeah. Hey, yell. Hey, yell. Hey, yell. Yeah. 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 It's like one letter away from from things that are against like the Islam religion to eat. Yeah. <laughs> and the, I thought all of that was really, really interesting. It, 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 for, 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 for world, uh, for aesthetics, like the best story was Mercy Blade overall, like, balancing all the things. But the most interesting jump in actual lore was Raven's Cursed. Yes. Even more than Death's Revival you or Blood Train. It, you get deeper into her past. Yeah. You you get you get into it. I mean, you did into yeah. it. Yeah, you get a lot of the Everhard tests. The, I, I hate books where, where, where people are in a bubble and they never have friends before they meet this one person. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. It's some of their friends, and they want to go out, and they want to be social. Yeah, or they melt into the guy's life and stuff. Like, I don't like that. I really don't like that in my urban fantasy. I want them to have friends. I want them to have ride-or-die bitches. I want all that stuff. I want it all. <laughs> oh, talking about... um, I, I forgot. Uh, did you guys mention about uh, Grigor? The, the kid vampire's... Steamy, steamy, steamy scene with Jane. I wouldn't call that steamy. Well, I, I, guess, steamy. I, I guess in level of experience, you could call it steamy. I okay, wouldn't whatever. call it steamy. There's also <laughs> another, there's another uh, stupid Greek is in it, too. She got, she got a little moist because uh, it was a blood healing. Uh -huh. Moist. <laughs> Yeah, oh, when the when the two guys came in in their harem pants. <laughs> no, when oh. uh, he was injured and Gregory, uh, yeah. Gregory yeah. and his two bookend servants came in in harem pants without a shirt on. Reread it. And, and then they and then they you know they it was all like lovey sucky sucky. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I I actually enjoyed that. But I I did love the whole you you, you know you please me, you may join me in my bed. <laughs> I would probably response like, Ninja, please. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember Grigor is, uh, Grigor, whatever you pronounce his name well, is? You know, the, well, the way, the way it, it's spelled, it actually looks like, like, more like Gregory. 
uh, but later in the story, they change, they, they change the pronunciation. Yeah, they change the pronunciation of a lot of things in in the story. I actually found myself I was like listening to the audio book and like correcting it out loud with like certain pronunciations. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. Oh, there's also uh, Rick is in it, and we learned that uh, Grindy is in it. Yeah, uh, the Grindelow lore. Yeah. yeah, the Grindelow and the Grindelow and, babies. Yeah, it's so cute. I like the babies. I want one. Can I have one? No, because it would eat you. It would slit your throat and kill you because I'm, you want the no, bite. I'm not aware. I do enjoy the fact that in Jane Rock, she in the story, the way she's writing it right now, she's not turning away from like the grossness. Yeah, I like that. I don't want, I don't want clean. I want nasty. You know, you know. <laughs> I, you know, I want, you know, I want the babies to be popping out of the freaking deer's stomach because they've eaten it all. You know, I want all of it. <laughs> I want it all. Okay. So, what's the book after that one? Let me see. Death Rival. Death Rival. Yeah. yeah, Death Rival was good. It was so good. I loved that book so much. I did, I did, I did. I'm sorry, I did. I, I kept thinking that in Death's Rival, the chick that was the swordswoman was like a skinwalker who never learned she was a skinwalker. Mm, I could see that. Like, I could see that. Yeah. I always thought that, you know, cause, and that's why she couldn't, like, you know, break, or she didn't want to break the binding or all this. But, you know, just saying. Just want to say. Like, now this is, like, when jo when Jade's secret really, like, comes out. Yeah, because she, 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 she actually um, changes shape. Right after, at the end of the book. Yeah, Diablo shoots her. And uh -huh. she thought that it was Rick that shot her. But wait, let's go back a bit. Let's go back a bit. Mm -hmm. um, so in this book, you also meet another. Now we already we already knew Derek and and and, and the Tequila Boys, mm -hmm. but now you have the Vodka Boys, which is his his new set of guys. Yeah. Um, you also they're mo they're 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 pulling out moles that coincidentally are within Derek's crew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Angel. Like angel tits. Mm -hmm. Um, you you uh. You you get to see um, Jane gets gets her own people. Mm -hmm. Eli, which is cool. I really like I really like I like Eli. I like Eli a lot. And and they should have so done like a just for five seconds at least like a, a little a little like a caramel native mocha swirl thing just 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 for five minutes. You get a lot more Aggie one feather. And a lot yes, more Katie. You, you realize that mm -hmm. Katie's a fucking bitch. <laughs> Man, like, I don't know if I want to, like, kiss Katie or kick her in the cunt. That was, like, a big surprise. Like, Katie, because, <laughs> like, at first Katie was, like, I liked the original Katie before she went in for the bloodbath. Yeah. Uh, the, the, right now. Whatever she is, she is now is a crazy fucking bitch. Now, something really big happens in this book. Really, really big. The force binding. First, the force blood bond, exactly. Yeah. Mm. And, yeah. And like, and see, and this is why, you know, for a while for me, Bruiser was a big problem because he had no real loyalty to her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and that was a big sign right there that there was no, he couldn't really be 100% loyal to her. But at that time, he was blood drunk, and he was already halfway to becoming a, uh, what are they Honorio. called? He, he was actually Honorio. close. But he was actually, yeah, it was like that he's point. Already changed. Point. He's already changed, which is why Leo can't bind him. And Leo was kidnapped no, before the binding. The, like after he comes out the, the, the. Honorio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He actually, no, that's when he's actually free of, of Leo. Leo. Where but he, he was still blood back. drunk. He was yeah. still blood drunk so he could be controlled. He, he was still able to be controlled. It's after that that he gains his freedom from Leo. Which because the blood him. works its way yeah. through his system and, you know, done. Yeah, yeah. but we don't know that to the next book, so let's stay on this one. So, okay. with Raven Curse. <laughs> uh, uh, death Rival, I thought? Yeah, Death Rival. Sorry, I was actually had Raven Curse on the screen. So, Death <laughs> Rival. No, I love when uh, 
I, like I love that the whole scene where where it's you know she she's she's pissed she's ready to fuck this dude's universe up and and she has to go and and play pretty much hide and seek in the woods with mm-hmm. with his enforcer. Mm-hmm. Like I, I love that whole thing. Like like Beast Beast definitely shined. I love Beast. Beast is awesome. Yeah, I was like joking around with Raven. I, I was joking around with Raven, and I was like, "Yeah, you know what? It seems that sometimes I'm Jane and you're Beast." And then, like, we keep making little comments, like, "I, I, we are best hunters." <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit that Jane Yellowrock is not my favorite character. My favorite character in the series is probably Beast. I definitely, I love Beast. Beast, Beast is awesome. and then, <laughs> and, then and then baby, and then the baby. And then, and then, and then, baby Evan, and then Jane. <laughs> uh, mine would have to be Beast, Bruiser, mm. then the baby, and and our and our our newfound buddy Eli and his brother, the younger brothers. <laughs> oh yeah, the younger brothers, the younger brothers. Yeah. Yeah, I I get a kick out of them. Hmm. Mine is Beast, Bruiser, Leo. And you'll be surprised. G. I like G, G too. G, G, I just G, want, I want to see more G, though. I G, do. I want to see more G. You know, actually, we actually ended up missing, like, a character from the last book. The the African cat dude. Uh, oh, Kim, cat. Kim Nebby? Yeah, Kim Nebby. Ken. Let's Kim Cat. I, I, I don't like Kim Nebby. I'm glad he was gone at the end of the last book. I was... Oh, the, the Ken is Ken is her beta, with, and and Rick is below Ken, which makes him the Zeta bitch. Just saying, Ken is Zeta. Oh, it is, oh, it is you, real. If you, if you read the short story uh, in between um, Raven Curse and Mercy Blade, um, Jane forced forced him to take up. Uh, take uh, Rick under his wing. You actually she read that up. in Mercy Blade that she points that out in the beginning of the book. She, 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 she yeah, but they actually do a play by play on it. It's actually pretty yeah. funny. Uh, I'll, I'll get to it. I will get to it. I wanted to actually finish like at least a call to the series with the with a new book coming out this weekend. Yeah, yeah. And then I wanted uh-huh. to, then I wanted to go back and do the in between stories because then I, I like to have those aha moments when you ro- go back and read the short stories after. Like, I did the same thing with Kate Daniels. I, see, now we can't have a, a show without talking about her at least once. Where I did That's the whole series, and then I went back and I read the in-betweens. <laughs> <laughs> what can we say? We, we love her. So, uh, get you over it. Get, on the show? Huh? get them on the show? You guys want to get them on the show? If, if you can get the Gordons on the show, that would be I'll awesome. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> I think I I actually sent them a message that says I sucked some dick for an arc. Uh, <laughs> oh lord! I listen, no joke. Like if I get an early copy of this, I just I'd I do I some would, laundry. It would be really awesome to like to like have the Gordons on. They they are pretty good. Now that I've already said my stalker bit. <laughs> 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 now that I've gotten into my deep stock, but um, yes, Mistress O. I think it also Dutch Rival really explains how precarious Jane's life inside of Vampire Society is in itself. Yeah, you know though, I you get more. You also get like even though that there is some distance between them during it, you kind of get more of an idea of Leo too. He's very cat-like. No, like no. I, I get why Beast uh, likes him. He is very cat-like, yeah. and it's funny because he makes comments about her being like a cat, but he's so very cat-like. Yeah, yeah, and he turns on a dime sometimes. Like even without the blood stuff, sometimes he has these weird ass moments. Yeah, like cats, they're capricious bitches. Yeah, aren't they? like <laughs> like he has yeah he has a weird ass <laughs> eat your face moment. Yeah, like, he he's a capricious bitch. I yeah. love him. Uh, you know, I got to see a hint of that in the later book. Um, the, he, the, the author actually did, did foreshadow that he is like a cat. Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing, though. 
I think the the scene where she cuts off the guy's head. Uh huh. Oh, she was totally just she 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 was sawing. Just, she's not cutting. She's sawing. I can't even yeah. I can't even like say the words because we're streaming. But for real, like she she was awesome. Like yeah, was, that scene she was rolled, one of the best like action. Yeah, that that was one of the actually the best action scenes in the series. She the, rolled the, in the, like a thug, got her business done, and was like, and, nah, "I gotta go make peace with it." <laughs> had the head in the air like a freaking warrior princess. <laughs> Dude, rolled that shit like was a bowling ball. It's like, all right, now I gotta go make peace. I'll be back. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think I, what I really liked is how well it re- respected both religions at the same time. I think yeah. like that's one thing that this author really is succeeding at is that she isn't stereotypical Indian Indian, you know, and I like that. Well, I, I like. How can I put this? I, I I like I like how um, how she mixes together more. I, I lo- a lot of it she pieces it together in in a, a very different way that I haven't really seen before. Then I really enjoy that. I, I do like the fact that she allows Jin to maintain both parts of the culture, the culture she was born in and the culture she was raised in. And a lot of people forget, you know. It, it, it's not just one path. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I would like, say that Aggie One Feather, Aggie One Feather exemplar is, is an exemplar example of people of a person who walks like the Native American path, but understands that there is others, and I like that. Yeah. yeah. And I, I like that it really isn't good. Native American; it's specific to their tribe. I like how she does that as well. It's not, you know, African. It's Nigeria, namely this location of Nigeria. You know. Yeah. You know, it, it understands that that there was a lot going on. You know, it's it 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 walks away from the wise Native American person. You know, and actually labels things correctly. And you know, she does a really good job. She does like the there's two there's actually two pretty famous. Um, Native American. There's very few successful characters who are female, who are not white, and two of them are Native American, which is Jane Yellowrock and Mer- and Mercedes Thompson. Yeah, and I think Jane Yellowrock actually does a better job. I'm I'm going to revisit Miss Mercy at Mercy some me? point. I'm going. I'm going to be revisiting Miss Mercy, just like. And, and the main reason I'm doing it is because, you know, as, as I mentioned before, when we started talking about the Jane Yellow Rock books, Raven actually brought this book to brought the series to my attention, you know, like two three years ago. Uh yeah. And and I read the first book and I hated it. I'm like no, nah. And yeah. then and then Lady O here was like. Was like no, read it. I love it. Just trust me. Just read it. The book. You have to get past sucks. it. For, you got yeah. so you get past it. You'll read. It, you'll love it. And I got past it, and I love it. And I trust you with with Mercy as well. The problem with the problem with Mercy Blade, the problem is excuse me, excuse me, not Mercy, but the problem with Mercedes Thompson book is that it was written like in the two thousand ish nineties range. So it's like old school urban fantasy at first, and then it starts to morph into something else much later on in the series. But you have to get there, which sucks. So I mean, that's one bad part. The problem with the Skinwalker is I don't think when she originally started watching, writing this series, I don't think she understood what she was writing. And so it's what, such that, a complicated comp- love moment, and then came back and was like, "All right, I yeah." Got- it, this, it, and what makes this book complex is the social structure of the, the vampires and the and the witches, and the way it interacts with the rest of the world, and that is confusing. You know, I'm actually going through my my Goodreads friends, and I think that it's funny that there are more guys reading romance books in my, on my Goodreads list than there are girls. <laughs> oh well, you obviously haven't seen mine because my girls be throwing down them filthy fucking books. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's really it's it's really funny though, cause like I uh 
like I'm going down the list, and it's like I mean, like, and, and it, it, it's yeah, the, the dudes are, are reading more of the romance than, than the chicks are, and I'm just like, what's wrong with you? What romance book is hot right now? Oh, uh, let me just go back. I was actually making a comment on a book that a friend of mine was reading. Uh, I have two of them that are actually reading, oddly enough, Bridges of Madison County. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll have to get back to that. Let's get back to the story okay. and yeah. Death Rival and finishing Death Rival out. She cuts off the main guy's head. He's been plotting for years to take out... Um, like a to, thug. To take out Leo. We, we go into Blood Trade. Blood Trade is where she is pissed. And everybody. Everybody. She's depressed. Yeah, I didn't like this book that much. You didn't See, really like Blood Trade. Like Blood Trade made me sad. But you got to see another side of, of James' background, which I really enjoyed. <laughs> but it still it made me sad. Mm. It made me sad for her. It made me sad for the people involved. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. And, you know, like... You know she's stuck in a funky ass limbo right now, mm-hmm. like on and like on all sides between like love, work, you know, general personal life. She's stuck in a limbo. Like the only, the only static things that are, are really real and tangible for her that she's mm-hmm. even accepted herself has been Eli and the kid. Stinky. Yes. Yes, mm-hmm. Stinky. <laughs> and I and I really, you know, his name actually uh, Alex. See, mm-hmm. look at that. I remember the name. But, uh, and, and, you know, I love that there's, like, one point she's like, hey, I got to get paid. I have a family to support now. <laughs> yeah, it's real. It's real. <laughs> I love it, though, because Rick's like, so how many, how much you get per head? 40K per head. Wait, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm working here as a cop for, for two heads a, a year. And it's like that should have been a sign right there. No, bitch, you ain't compatible. <laughs> Two heads a year. <laughs> ah, okay, so I like Soul. I didn't like her before because I I felt with what Beast was feeling in the last book. I was like, who this bitch? I would say but, you know what's the funny. Did Did you read? I can't remember what book it is, but <sighs> cover your ears. Ah, uh, <laughs> what book? Coming. What book is it that 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 Rick finally leaves her for the, the for the African line bitch? Uh, Blood, uh Snake's book after Blood okay. Tree. Okay. She's why she started it, but she haven't reached there yet. Which okay. is why I asked her to prepare tissues. Okay, go ahead. You can come back now. Oh, you people are killing me. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> like listeners, like what? Is, what is going on? What kind of show is this? What is so series in case y'all didn't know. <laughs> well, you're almost <laughs> caught up to us. You're almost yeah, caught up to us. Out. I'm already after. I'm already at Broken Soul. Rereading to Broken Soul. I I just got to Black Arts, and my goal is to have that finished by Thursday because I'm gonna be busy as hell on Friday. I have to take the kid grocery shopping. Do you know what's like grocery shopping with a teenager? Hell. It's like grocery shopping. It's like going into a toy store with a five-year-old. I want uh, this. It's... Can I have that? Yeah. <laughs> got to stop them from trying to open the package and start eating before you even get to the checkout. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I want something to eat now. <laughs> All your fault now. Our last shopping trip together, it was an argument about Chinese sausage. <laughs> Chinese sausage. <laughs> Not, Taiwan sausage. Yeah, it's Taiwan. It's Taiwanese. Oh. The package says Chinese though, but mm. yeah, there was like three different kinds. I'm like, well, I prefer this kind, and this kind is cheaper. But we had this kind last time, and I like this kind. I'm like, well, you need to get a job then, because this kind's a dollar cheaper. <laughs> so now that we're all blood traded out, we're all blood traded out. We're done. So. Blood Trade, like, makes you laugh and cry at the same time. Well, at least for me. I really hated that book. I really hated that book. I, I, it just, it didn't just make me sad. It made me upset about Jane's world itself. 
Well, and that's the, a terrible the, place, sweetheart. Yeah, and I didn't like that because I just didn't. And I got all upset and then I just got all like, wah. So y'all get a sneak peek in, into, into the, the sunshine lollipop side uh, of Mistress O because, see, I always tell her that she always wants to see the good in people while I'm hating. And, and, and this is one of those moments, so enjoy it because you don't see it often. <laughs> You're just outing me. She conspires with me, so. <laughs> outing me, uh huh. Uh -huh. All right, whatever, whatever. Fuck you. Too. Outing you. I told you don't see it often. You should treasure it. Record this. I'm telling y'all. We are. So. <laughs> okay, so. So now, now it's out on YouTube for now. all to hear. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, can you tell I'm not comfortable with that? All right, <laughs> so. Did you read Sylvia Day's book? Which the one? one where it's like the Crossfire series. It's another BDSM book. <laughs> uh, you and BDSM. But it's actually... Are, well, we, we are called Mistress of Reed. We had like this long conversation about BDSM earlier and, and our complaints with books. Oh, I, I really... Yeah. What can it's I say? It's coming out on the 5th. More books. And More book on the list. I don't know if I'm going to read it. I actually have a big problem with this series. I think it went sideways, but I was wondering if you already had read the Crossfire series. No. If not, we won't talk about it. Um, did you read R.K. Lily's uh, Breaking Her? It's not Beat SM. It's dark, though. Shit's dark. No. It's dark. I don't really go out my way to look for dark, usually unless you slide it under my nose, or I'll stumble upon it. Mm. Stumble upon it. <laughs> Stumble upon it. I've been reading a lot of manga lately, like in between, like like Jane Yellow Rocks. Like I, I really have been, and mm. uh, I, I need I need to get back to books. But yeah, I've been a lot of manga, and like like Raven knows how I am with manga. I lose sleep because it, mm -hmm. it starts off with one chapter, turns into two hundred chapters later, and it's five a.m. <laughs> mm. it, it, Can't stop. Up. Can't stop. That's for sure. It's, That's like the first a, it's, like a, it's like potato chips. <laughs> yeah. You have to keep on watching the next episode. The next book, the next, book, the next chapter. You it's like stop. Off girls, you can't eat just one. No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, kids. That's a reference to Sherilyn Kenyon. But um, oh, if you guys want, that is a that's a series of manga. I can, I can introduce to you guys. It's which one? Atatsuki no Yuna. I think I know this one. It's I don't know nice. this one. <laughs> there is anyway to it, but this is stop. They say there is a saying. Uh, there is a talk about second season, but no show yet. But the 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 book the manga is actually nicer. Mm. Mm hmm. Yes, I did know this one. There was a series. There was yeah, another man, uh, the anime. I watched this actually. There's only one season. They are talking about the second season, but no one actually put their hand on There's it. There's been OVAs actually. Uh huh. There was an OVA back in September. Yeah, I need to go watch it. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but yes, there was an OVA, and um, they they are working on the second season. Um, rumor has it, it's going to be in the fall. Mm hmm. But oh. this is actually pretty good. Um, it's it's reverse harem. harem. It's mm. reverse harem, harem. That's an important genre for, for us. Reverse harem is real. Because uh -huh. the real world should just be one woman and lots of beautiful men. I'm just saying. Mm, sounds like a gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. No rich rounds allowed. So, well, I don't know about y'all, but yeah, no rich rounds allowed in my gangbang. So, but, um, mm. <laughs> I learned a little too much about you right there. Woo. <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead, don't let me stop you. But it, it, it's actually really good. Um, it is a periodical thing. She's mm -hmm. a princess. She was a princess. Her kingdom was betrayed. Um, she has one loyal who travels with her, and then, like, she picks up more along the way, mm -hmm. and then she comes back, and revolution, and it's it's pretty awesome. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you also find out that she is also the reincarnation of someone. 
Yeah, but we don't want to give away too much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You, you, you want to make them wet, but you don't want to make them come yet. <laughs> you don't have to say it to her in sex voice. It doesn't necessarily. <laughs> don't you know that is my regular voice? <laughs> no, that was your regular voice. The last one was sex voice. <laughs> So stand up phone sex boys. You know, and, and, and you know, eventually we may have to do a Patreon phone sex line. <laughs> no, just I'm just, playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Whip me, beat me, bite me, blow me, suck me, fuck me, oh so slowly. Whip me, beat me, make me bleed. Kinky sex is all I need. <laughs> You're preparing for work. <laughs> That's work. It's it's less madam and more Hey, that's how I, mistress. That, that's how I, 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 I uh you know, acquired a lot of my coins on Fiverr. I'll give you a sexy message. There you <laughs> go. Look and look. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> I don't know if this is a, a show about books. I or don't sexy try to put up my number because my voicemail on there is not sexy. It's me and Lily singing lazy song. <laughs> give them, give the boys you out. <laughs> give it out. Oh no. And yeah. This way. Okay. So we're gonna end tonight, and thank you so much for listening. And, you know, if you have any book ideas that we should be reading, always remember the comments are available. And all of us, Raven, me, and, oh, I got Ferrari, and, and Vu, we, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I guess since you were doing phone sex voice, you expect to be paid. <laughs> we say goodnight, and we will see you next read. Thank you so much. Night. And I haven't found the end button, and you're still listening. So, hey again, but anyways, bye. <laughs>